Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's not over. Oh. What was it? What is this? little rudimentary peni for your action tonight. And just a little bit of my favorite YouTube classic. It's a beautiful thing when she is the wettest in the building. Thank you, folks, for joining us. It is uh, the summertime, and we continue the Metal Gear Solid summer stream with a little more Snake Eater. I'm going to get right into the game. Yes. It's, uh, it's time to join us. Thank you for tuning in if you did. Uh, over the Saturday of last, whoa, we had the Mega 64 Expo. Uh, what a fabulous time! In and out of the booth, running the panels, getting to do a little behind the scenes audio work throughout the day, and then to top it all off, uh, anime rave Dude. DJ Disc Jockey Johnny finally showed up during the anime rave. He hurt himself a bit though, it skipped my fucking oh. needle too. It was Did crazy. He? Yeah, guy. Was he planking? He ran right into the DJ booth and clutched around like a fool. I don't know. What was, a, he was a. Wow. He was doofing. Um, he done goofed. Yeah, well, it was a fun event uh, to be held. So if you attended 64 Expo, 64,000 attendees were all there with you. Oh, yes. No restrictions. And uh, you can call in. You can Discord us. Brian's got the info busting into the chat That's as we right, speak. That's right, folks. It may be over. The stream, the expo may be over. The party continues here party on the goes. PPS. It is Wednesday night. Yeah. It is your PPS, boys. It is the MGS summer stream. We didn't get to do a podcast on Sunday, Brian. Yeah, I we're know. All, so, we're streamed out. It's so nice to have a night off. <laughs> a night a off. Sunday off. I mean, I know yeah, it was I've been, nice I've been busy off. the past few Sundays, but so so have a few people. Fourth of July and a few things. So we kind of haven't had like our normal podcast schedule anyhow. But Yeah, uh, it's been sporadic, but we've been doing all this extra shit. Dude, so. that's why it's nice to see uh, everybody turn out for 64 Expo and have, uh, have a really good time. I'm glad that you guys were... Uh, we're live and doing it and showing off what it's like to be at the booth. Oh, my gosh. Um, it looks like are. it was a good time. We're right into the fight. I got to pause because um, I'm not prepared no. for the pain that I'm about to encompass. Yikes. Oof. Okay. I'm going to get ready now, though. <clears throat> so 
we're talking to people in the Discord once they get there. Yeah. But let's fight this boss first, Brian. Let us. You know, you know how me and orienting myself with the controls, it's probably not going to be big of a deal today because it's a boss fight, and I just remember correctly, I'm just on these rocks, right? Uh, kind of bouncing around some boulders. I could swim, and then I get back on a different rock. Yes. So I'm very like interested to see how you handle the swimming because it did take you over oh an hour God, to get the crocodile fucking cap. Fucking right, man. You are not joking. <laughs> <laughs> and when I played this the first time, I remember this this fight because it, it, it it's like a maze under the water. I remember this this fight took me a while. Camo doesn't matter in this, so I'm going, na not, I'm yeah. going naked, baby. And Splitter to look like more badass. Hell yeah. Or should we fool him? Like, who's this handsome devil? Whoa. Dude, I <laughs> this is some shit. God save my queen. Yeah. Well, uh, hello. I am Sneak. What? Oh, man. Is this not an appropriate French accent? <laughs> Pretty good if you ask me. Yeah. Ich bin er lieben. Hey. I don't know. Selma Hayek's from Spain? That's all I know. Sweden, Japan. Ooh, let's go USA. All American. There it is. Mm, I can't do it. I don't like the like silly shit in games. Yeah. I want a realistic aesthetic in games. That's, okay. I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil Resistance, and I'm kind of bugging that they've added all this. Like when you get cosmetic tears. Yeah. You get stupid alien heads and fucking zombies wearing like oh. I don't know cheerleader outfits and that fucking. Makes sense pink horsey costumes and shit it's like fucking everything has to have this shitty fortnite aesthetic now even resident evil kind of resident evil 3 looks so good in that game engine and resistance would look as good as that if there weren't glowing huds over every scannable like uh, texture in that game i know <laughs> what you like mean. yeah i know what all you the mean. aesthetic shit that they i just i just want it to look cool like snake does right now god damn it it's uh yeah i get Don't. i get that Don't. Don't put it in your game. Don't put it in your game. All right, let's 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 kill. Oh, shit. Now, this is extra loud, Brian. Can you turn the TV down for me? Oh, sure. I realize I got that up. Oh, bees! Okay. You're embarrassing yourself. That's God, the bees. God, it looks so good in this game. It doesn't, it's not bad, right? Like okay, just, we're, we're going trank mode, too. The fact right? that it was 1080 60, you know, you like... Can give me, you can give me, like, 10 volume. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to get a little volume. Tommy God. Oh, now I'm turning off the TV. I literally have no TV, so I can't see what I'm doing. I'm looking at the game capture device now. <laughs> oh shit! It's resetting. It's restarting. Um. Okay. Let me get volume here. Brian, what's the chat? Weighing in with. We've got the real live chat here in the sumo line. That's oh, I right. gotta blow that up. Would you oh, mind yeah. just increasing the? Scale there for me. Keep going. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh shit, we're dying. <laughs> Tommy got. It. I think that's it, right? There you go. Let's see. What's that? Uh, what's that chat up to? Let's see. I love how he announces every attack he does. Yeah, that's that's this game, man. We want. Hmm. Yeah, we want to trank him like we did Ocelot. Yeah. Okay, what is the action not... Oh, to go swimming again. Thank God. Shit. Are those pheromones? Mm, yeah. So oh, those I are... have them on me. Fuck. So yeah, you got the pheromones. The pheromones these on me. Bee, these bees sting you like bullets. Bullet bees. Right? Yeah. Did we already get his cutscene <clears throat> about uh, the bullet bees? No, because I don't think you've been stung by one yet. Well, last uh, stream, did we get his intro? Bombs away. Oh, he's throwing bombs. Actually, I don't remember. All I know is that, like, the way you beat him is you try to get him to not see you when he doesn't have the bees. But how do you get him to not see you if you're aiming in the... in the? Oh, can I go first person? I can oh, yeah. go first person here. So you can shoot him from here, right? That's yeah. what I should just do. Stay in the water. Okay, I kept that's, trying. That's how I did it. Damn, damn. damn. Headshots. Hey. Oh, this is, gonna, this is how we do it. And now when he does uh -oh. this... Uh-oh. You can throw a smoke grenade, but you can't do that from the water. Oh. And it'll dissipate, or a regular grenade, or let's, a stun let's grenade. Let's get over here. Stun? Oh, maybe you can throw it from the water. He's holding it. Yeah. Yeah, so the stun grenade throws off all the bees, and then you can just go back to shoot. Oh, like we did with the bats. Yep. Oh, shit. Get in. 
<laughs> Time for you to taste some real pain. Did I dodge him? Yeah. I think, I think so. I'm going to go over here. I see more bees on the... Uh... Oh, and remove your suppressor you're using it during the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So who in the chat? You. Sub dude? Yeah. Was that sub dude? Thank you, dude. Yeah, after this, uh, after good, this boss good call. fight, guys, we're going to take some no. Discord calls. Good call. <laughs> and there'll be even more good calls when we take some Discord calls. Uh, dirt hurt. Oh, okay. What is this cool? Oh, shit. Grenade. Ooh, that was, like, real close. He was right next to me with that one. Yeah, because I think he pretty much stays on that center platform. So let's try now the stun. He doesn't see me. Did you think Eat it. Could fool Is it too high? Eat it. Tommy oh, some shit's falling. Some shit fell, right? Or I'm knocking bats Bro! off. Oh! Now look at him, yeah. There we go. That last Light one him up. ended. That last one hit. Pop, pop, bang. What? Oh, yeah, when he throws this, you can, like, yeah, just, you're doing it, man. You're killing it. Dodging, dodging. It's weird, because I did go from playing, didn't play any Last of Us 2 over the break, over no. the weekend or anything. I did play a lot of Resident Evil Resistance, though. And uh, it's very modern, you know, 3D roaming camera. It didn't fuck me up too bad. Going, mainly I stayed off the Switch. That's the main fucking thing. Stay off the Switch if I want to come back to uh, PS3. Yes. Or yes. just stay in the Sony family. Ah! Fuck it, buzz off. Dickhead. <clears throat> right, dickhead. As I, as I said last week, one of the yeah. best oh. things about... Uh, what did you say last week about the best thing? Uh, Death Stranding's controls is that you can change the uh, in-game... You can change the uh, oh on PC the controls on PC so that if it if you're if it doesn't read that you have a PS4 controller in there and you're using like I'm using an Xbox One you can have it just show face for um, the PlayStation controller and then I never have to think about it at that point. Oh okay. Because I know what when it shows me square I just press square I don't think about what button square is it. Ooh, you know? Yeah, that's that's nice to be able to swap them. Yeah. I loved uh, when Survive would get patched, Metal Gear Survive. Oh, yeah. And then you could make oh, it exactly the same control scheme as <gasps> yes. Phantom Pain. That was like, oh, why didn't we get that from the beginning? Uh, let's eat. We got all that vampire bat. Oh, it's already all bad. Well, it's been a week. Yeah, I know. That's the thing that sucks. Let's try the maroon shark. What a maroon. Yeah. Mm, this that. shark has taken <laughs> its toll on me. Yeah. Let's see. That didn't work you do that have, well. You uh, have Russian ration. Yeah, we will start using the rations and calorie mate. I just like to hold on to those because they don't expire. Right. Ooh, disgusting? Really? Calorie mate's better, I guess. Yeah. The rabbits are in cages. The cobra's in cages. They'll stay. Yeah. Everything else is rotten. How do you uh, dispose? Dispose. 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 Oh, don't do that ration. What's happening? Oh, I ate it on accident. Whoops. Fuck it. I went too fast. I done that. Oh, you can't. These are bad too. Damn it, my glow cap. What mushrooms can't? I was go gonna bad. trip later. That Taiwanese cobra will give you some wet market kind of shit. Stay away from that stuff. Yeah, give you a stinky butt. Yeah, you don't want that. I got a stomach ache already. Fuck. Hold on. Let's have some medicine. Mmm. Mmm. Cough? No. Digestive. There you yes. go. Yes. <laughs> okay. Back to the fight. Let's see if I heal up underwater. No. Never mind. Let's get him a let's stun him again. I don't know if I'm hitting right. I'm not. It's definitely right in front of me. Oh! I get you? No. No. And I think I'm out now. No, nope, still something. got two. I can't fucking aim very well here. I'm like, I'm going over his little island. Oh wait, there he is. He's firing like his AK at me. Right now. It's so quiet when he's yeah got his stun like grenades going on. How am I not? Am I, I the taking it? The bees are protecting him. Oh fucker. All right, I'm gonna get away from him. Here's my, here's my wow. I can shoot underwater. Oh, it is a train gun, so you don't need. 
Don't need what? Uh, combustion. You don't need the little. Uh, oh, oh, that it goes underwater. Yeah, can you shoot the nine millimeter underwater? Probably not. Oh, look at all this. Fish, baby. Yeah, you can eat all this stuff. Okay, let me. I'm gonna ground. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can stand. I like that. Stand for a while. Okay, here's my last stun grenade. Ready? You should be able to swim around and find more. Army God! I think I overshot. God damn it, I did. See if he likes to smoke. Just yeah, I was gonna say, because in real Ooh. life, bees don't like smoke. Yeah, you smoke them out, right? Like Cheech and Chong. Oh, and regular grenades work too. And they won't damage him. They won't? Yeah, plus you've gotten them further, far enough down that even if they do damage him, you'll probably not come out. Before. It won't kill him. Yeah. You know, we'll just do a little, just a little damage. Okay. I fix the camera angle like an idiot. Oh shit, bees. Can I pick those up? Eh. I see something down there. Oh, that's my reflection in the ceiling. Okay. Like, is there a hole? Hell yeah. In hole there. in my heart. Oh shit, don't attack me. Not me! Don't do your nasty pheromones on me. Let's dive. Let's... Fuck, man. I feel confident, Brian. Let's take the caller. All right. While we're diving, while we're looking for more stun grenades. Let's do it. Oh, can I run in here and check it out? QT Max no, Racer. How's it going? I found him, QT Max. What is up? 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 What is um, up? Thank you. Thank I, you. Thank you. What is up? What yeah, is up? What I, is so up? nice. Had to see it three times. Um, <laughs> How are you, QT Max? I'm good. I'm good. So I'm enjoying you guys watch the stream. Uh, or I'm enjoying you wa wa watching the stream. Which watching one are you, you doing? Are you wa are we watching you watch the stream, or is it who watches the Watchmen? Hey, even? dude, this is like yeah, that's always the QT question Max right racer. now. But there's more to life than that. Yeah. I don't know. Well, what's How's up, man? The, how are you guys the, doing? But you know, the uh, best things in life are you free. Be this boss. You know, you're doing well. I heard that. You're not supposed to attack him at certain points, but I wish I could do it in sync, but... Yeah, I'm uh, trying to get my grenades and my stun grenades to, like, stay up here. And I can kind of bounce him off the ceiling, and that seems to work. But, I He's also grabbing him and dropping him back on you. Oh, yeah, he is. He's a smart... Oh, no! That was my own bad. I'm gonna need some life medicine, Brian. You you got, hey, dude, you got a bunch of food you can eat to help your... Heal myself. Yeah, thankfully you don't get uh, full in this game like you do in Yakuza. Cutie Max. Yeah, but if you eat once yeah, you get this full, does so it go Yeah, so as, as a question, I wanted to ask, uh, how has your experiences been with um, working with uh, uh, Mr. Kojima? And, ah, uh, Hideo-san. Like, uh, <laughs> he, it must be incredible just having that sort of... Uh, uh, you know, uh, experience. Yeah, I'll tell you. Like uh, the first time that I got to meet him was at GDC when we filmed the Metal Gear Four sketch, and oh, he, yeah. he was getting the the award there. You were there, Brian. Yeah. And that's the first time we all met him, and it was like he was so nice and so cool that it let off any pressure from working with him the numerous times after that. You know, and uh, it's that's like something that I don't think about that often. But then when I do see that come back up, it's like, oh, yeah, like so weird that I got to meet the guy that made like my favorite video games. I just never thought whilst sitting in high school playing PlayStation, like, yo, I'm going to meet this guy. Like, yeah, we're going we're gonna to film. We're going to make art together. Like, that's fucking insane. <laughs> That's insane. When I when I like look back at just even the stuff past that, like you were playing Revengeance again. Yep. We weren't really dealing directly with Kojima on that, but getting to just do that character and that costume and like knowing that those swords I made ended up in their office over in Japan was like <laughs> fucking oh, enough for me. Like yeah, uh, it 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 really uh, it really humbles me when I think back about like damn fucking that happened yeah that's amazing um i just wanted to uh, give a call and uh say that you know i'm gonna let someone else spin the wheel but yeah okay I'm you know the spin a lot. <laughs> interesting tactic i like that interesting okay. all right thank you for that that's uh, adding a little interesting kind of spin to the the whole wheel spin scenario so thank you for that so we'll get someone coming up uh, soon here to spin for you all right take me <laughs> 
Thank All you, right, Max. thanks, Cutie Max. Thank you uh, for calling yeah. in. Yeah, Hell I mean, yeah. he, he, he kind of asked uh, what it was like to work with Hideo, but, I mean, it was so nice and so easy and so mm, happy and, like, respectful. Like, there's 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 nothing but glaringly good things to talk about. Oh, yeah. And, and, and you forget, like, uh, it, it sometimes it can be really hard with a language barrier. We've always gotten, like, such good people with him, translating with him. Um, giving us, uh, like, our pitches back to him and his team. You would think, like, you, you've you heard nightmares about things getting lost in translation, but it flowed so good every time we've worked with Kojima Productions' team. Oh, yeah, dude. So hopefully uh, to a future endeavor down the road. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it's, uh, I think it's definitely been one of the cooler relationships that we've made here. Um, so that's awesome. Um, I mean, I, yeah, even just the last time we got just barely slid in there to film that Death Stranding stuff for the behind the scenes oh, cameo. Yeah. And it was like just buddies hanging out again. Like, hey, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? Yeah. All right, here, we're going to get the costume on. All right, you stand in Rocco's car. All right, cool. Yeah. Oh, are you cool having a light on you? Yeah. It's just like so easy going, so fucking down for whatever, which is a. Uh, a crew kind of creating the story. Yeah. You got to really trust that they're not going to do you wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, 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 it really blows my mind with how much, uh, Kojima trusts Rocco, Derek and Sean. Oh dude. He, he really like to, to be a, you know, a cameo in their stuff that is like, all right, I can't wait for it to come out and just Don't know like, what it's see, for. Yeah. yeah. See you later. And like very trusting and like, what a fucking I mean, he human definitely being, does man. what he needs to do in terms of like legal and all that kind of PR, well, PR tr- clearing. But well, we're like, not, we're not, you know, he, he trusts us. We're, yeah, but we're that's not fucking what's around. cool. Is that like, again, the, the relationship, like you said, started at GDC and it came from, you know, hey, we on a whim, we got Shigeru Miyamoto because we jokingly asked. So they're like, yeah, is there anything else that you guys, you know, as Rocco tells the story, is there anything else that you guys would want or need or, you know, <laughs> GDC and they're like we'd love to do a video with Kojima yeah and they're like oh yeah dude. let's see if he's into that next year and yeah. uh, and so they reached out and the same thing I always like bringing this story and, and retelling it because it's such a good story of it doesn't hurt to ask yeah you know? it never does man and it all came from you know hey just the ambition of well you know I might as well just ask see if they're into it and like if they're into it then uh cool and Kojima did it because nobody ever asks. Nobody had ever thought that he would be willing to be in something that was kind of goofy or different. So he was just stoked to get to actually be in something. A guy who's made video games, right? Like a guy who's made games that but all he, of us uh, he like, idolizes love. the the film, the ability world. To, yeah. So to, to be in film, like in a in a just even in a YouTube video, I think he jumped at the chance and no one had asked yeah. before. And I'm sure no one asked, you know, before Nicholas uh, Winding Refn, hey, would you be in my series yeah. and, and, and act and be this Hitman character? Right? Oh, like, my gosh. I mean, it, it's it kind of just works like, hey, I think, th- I think this part would be good for you. You should be in it. And, and then you just kind of, like, go and you do it. And, and it, sometimes it works. And, you know, uh, one of the guys from, um, from Nirvana, the band, the show, like, really has that... Uh, a great mentality about it. He says, uh, people are always the best actors when they're being themselves. So just get oh, yeah. people to be themselves. And that's what we did with Kojima in that video. We're like, yo, what do you want to do? Like, we, we knew he got our like weird sense of humor. They, there was definitely like a humor to Mega 64 videos yeah. that he fit with. That's yeah. why he agreed in the first place. Yeah, and that, and that was that was exactly like the right Yep, perfect. There we go. Fuck, it was See, one shot you. left. I told you, you got it covered, man. Uh, oh, you know what? He might have a second shot. <laughs> yeah, second. Because now he, like, dislocates his arms and shit. Oh, yeah. He's going to let he's gonna let me see his scars. How do you get How do you get a scar like that? He's Not got, eating a piece of pineapple, Brian. He's got, like, Tootsie Pop arms. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't stick those in your mouth. Yuck. Okay, here we go. Round two. Back into the drink. What is the point of him dislocating his arms? I don't know. Just weird. 
He's probably got, you know, Elder's Dallas Syndrome or whatever that thing is Ehlers Down Low? Yeah. yeah. Keep it on the down low. Very no, I don't. No, I'm not. Flexible. Shouldn't say it like that. I'm not trying to minimize the syndrome that people genuinely have. Um, but yeah, what, what, I don't know how it's It pronounced. is a hyper flexible. It is. Uh, uh, I think we said it, right? I think we did. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a hyper flexibility. Yeah, like a in over joints. elasticity in your joints. It fucks up your your uh, your shit. Well, it fucks up your shit, Brian says. It's true. Oh, but maybe he won't. Yeah, you know what? Manny must ship actually uh, put a put a good point in the chat. He said maybe he wants to feel more pain. He wants to dislocate. Oh, so he just does it just for fun. Yeah. Get out of here. Like edging. You know about edging, right? Yeah. Oh, I do. I do. Uh, that's quite guys, a bit. You guys know that song by Lady Gaga? Quite a bit. No, what song? I'm on the edge of glory. What do you think that glory is? And I'm hanging by a moment with you. That one? I'm on the edge with you. Oh, yeah. She is. She's They're tantric sexing. Yeah, man. Damn, Listen, that's come, hot. Come, now that I think about come that. Come to the PPS. I'll tell you every song that is uh, about that you've ever heard. It's got sexual innuendo in it. I'm getting horny now just thinking about it. There this. it is. It's all I, built in. Yeah, dude. That makes sense now. It's, that's why we're an over horny country, dude. I'm on the edge. Well, especially in Arizona, man. When we went to, that's the one big thing I miss about Tyocon was like, yeah, everyone's right. so fucking horny out of AZ. Man. Well, you know what I heard about Tyocon? What? It's sort of like uh, a mini joint. Yeah. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Damn it. Can I shoot it down? Yes. Wait, I need more than one. Hey -o. <laughs> this is uh getting the mechanics down. Getting Why did I go to images and not joking? <laughs> the... Ew, Brian, don't look at that. What? Don't look don't you're gonna look up mewing next. Oh well now that you said it, I don't know what it is. Joking and mewing go hand in hand. M E W I N G? Yeah. Okay, cool, let's look you at need that. A, if you need a bigger dick and a better jawline because you're not alpha. Oh enough, yeah, yeah, I know. You gotta do mewing. these things. Okay, okay. These are the these are the 4chan top three. <laughs> <laughs> Jelking, mewing, and <laughs> what is the next? Uh, edging. Edging, yeah. yeah. Yes! So edging get, and pre-coming. So you know how to last long when you finally do get yeah. a piece. That's right. Get a piece back home to your dungeon. That is right. Dude, and then of course, as always, if anybody's ever asking, you just do yourself a favor and go on Google, type in the letters G O A. T Wait, what? S E and just see what comes up. Turn oh, off yeah. safe search. CX. Dot CX. Oh, get away. I'm not hitting him. Oh yeah. I, I can't tell if I'm doing damage anymore. Grenade. Look up blue waffle disease. I love no, that no, no matter oh, what. Don't look at that. Oh yeah, you don't want you probably don't want me doing that under your Google. <laughs> yeah, you're on my fucking chrome. Ass. <laughs> ah! Peace! <laughs> Guys, uh, I I, I just love how immediately all you have to do is bring up one like lascivious term and it just becomes the internet of 2002. <laughs> Tub girl, this oh, that, dude. boom boom, oh, cake farts. You <laughs> think mewing is crazy? Look up blue waffle disease. Yo, do you know what tryptophobia is? And it just yeah, I've been on Rotten.com, baby. Oh my god, I'm having Style Project uh, fucking flashbacks. <laughs> Get me away from this. Dude. Let's eat some arowana. Oh. Yeah, I heard if you eat uh, 40 milligrams of arowana, yeah. you could have uh, hallucination-like effects. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm into that. Yeah. Body high. Yeah, real real heavy stuff, that arowana. Let's go. Kojima's always referencing fucking drugs, man. That's what that's what the, uh, the peace pipe that Peace Walker gave you. You guys tripped out, had a little, like, medicine dance oh yeah dude and then uh, you know he's he's talking or uh yeah yeah the, the old man the old uh the old fellow code talker that's what his name was oh yeah he gives you the peace pipe and phantom pain dude you guys are seeing nano machines and i don't know what else fucking ancient runes dude, sacred geometry if i had a nano machine oh, get out inside of me i would reprogram it so that i would never have to worry about edging Oh, like you would only come on a vocal command? Yeah, dude. Like, What a, is it? It would be a codec call. <laughs> you have, per oh, you have my permission. Get away. Sneak? You go. Mei Ling. Hai Shin. Okay, let's get... What's this? Fuck, just regular grenades. I'm, I'm losing my fighting spirit here, Brian. Doing a lot of dodge. Doing a lot of... Uh, 
my health going down? Why is it going down? Stung, dude. Bleed? Do I have... Oh, I had too much arowana? No, you got stung. Oh, so I have to cure it. Yeah, probably. man, you gotta pull out bullet that bullet bee. bee. Oh, shit. Pull it out. No, X is okay. Pull it out, give it the disinfectant. That didn't do anything. Give it the stiff dick. There we go. Okay, just pull it out and give it the stiff dick. Dude. For the bees. Oh, I thought... Oh, I misheard you. I thought you said pull it out and give it the stiff... Give it the stiff dick. Yeah. Oh, no. That's, that would be good. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I thought we were on the topic, so Whip I thought it out we were there. And pull it out. You know, it's a very... Brian, you said it right. The Americans are very hyper-sexualized, you know? Yeah. And then my brain was rotted by 90s video game television where you you name it, it was cool. Man, it was it was the best. It was extreme. The 90s were all about being the coolest thing in the world. Pamela Anderson. Yo, big, better, faster, sexier, hotter, now, now. West. Money, now, sexy, now. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking of other tacky things when I thought of Pamela Anderson. I was trying to think of other big tacky things, and I thought of West Coast Choppers. Dude, I mean... But then I was like, I think that was 2000s for sure. But I, it was early 2000s byproduct of, of that oversaturated just attitude of like... I mean, the whole show was what whatever dad's name is and his son, like fucking... You fucking piece of shit! You're never gonna run this motorcycle company if you're not gonna learn how to be a good motivator. To learn how to learn how to bring everybody in together and be a team. Okay, old man. Well, fuck you, Dad! You don't even know shit about computers. <laughs> I'm trying to run a website. Dad. Yeah, that I was just want to paint. That was all it was. It was people yelling at there you. There was the like fucking third <laughs> leg brother who oh, was yeah. just a fucking. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! What a great television! It was. Oh, he saw me. He saw me. And Nicole Smith, you know, like. Oh yeah, dude! I forgot about Anna Nicole. Trim Spa, baby. Thank you. Yeah, is that where "Don't <laughs> Walk Away from Me" when I'm talking about, to you comes from? About dead six months later. What? No, she. she uh, Don't walk away from me. That's a. That's from uh, Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. Oh. Uh, that this one, Brian? Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Uh, you yeah. did a goddamn job before. Finkelstein down. shit, kid. We never play the full thing. Send you off to military school with a goddamn Finkelstein shit, kid. Oh. Oh, I don't have the son of a bitch in there. I thought it went all the way to the end. You know what? Yo. I'm really hurting from bee stings here. Let's get uh, another knife, knife, no, styptic, that was it. Oh no, styptic doesn't do it. What was it, disinfectant? I guess it is all three. Yeah, you gotta pull out the bullet, you gotta. Damn, I'm fucking hurting now. You gotta stitch that shit up. Let's eat these sharks. And let's take another Skype call. All right, yes. Sky Discord call. All right, everybody get your Skype out. <laughs> Get your Skype going. We're gonna talk to Who we... Manny Mushtip. What's up, Manny? What up, Manny Mushtip? Manny, I'm having a hell of a time here with my boss fight. How are you? Yo, what's up, Garrett? What's up, Brian? How the hell are you guys doing? Here? We're feeling fine. We're, um, you know, I'm, I'm barely hanging on. I've got a little sliver of life left, but oh, I did find another life medicine. I'm looking good now. I'm looking good. Better now, Manny. How are you? Good, dude. It's been, dude. It's been a, it's been a fucking minute. Uh, ever since uh, the beginning of the, uh, the, the quarantine. Yeah, like has a it? Few oh, like March, dude. Yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been like since March. Well, what have you been up so, to? Since, what have you been up to since? Just keeping. Well, it you real? know, just, uh, yeah, just keeping it real. Just keeping it. Got it, dude. One hundo. You, you gotta know how hold it be. down. North, south, yeah, east, hold. west. Yeah, holding it down, holding it down. Keep stacking them papers. But, um, That's right. Yeah, you gotta you punch know that it. time clock. But um, chilling like Fred Savage. You might. There might yeah. be something you're able to <laughs> knock down on top of him if you look I'm gonna, up. I'm gonna like knock Fred something Savage. down. I'm gonna knock something down here. Uh, but uh, you working during this whole uh, pandemic, Manny? Uh, you know, um, I was working for a bit, but um, I got like a like a little COVID scare. I thought oh, that I might have had COVID. Um, uh, that's not good. From a couple friends of mine, but uh, <laughs> how do you think? Unfortunately, 
How do you uh, think? Fortunately, you... all people involved uh, tested negative, so Everyone... I'm, and I'm okay, feeling fine. Good. So that's good. That's good. How? What yeah. was the cause of the scare? Like, what did you think was going on? You did you come into contact so, with a bunch of people, maybe? So what happened was um, my best friend's ex was hanging out with somebody. I mean, it, it's literally like this, like tree of like nonsense it was like my best friend's ex was hanging out with another friend uh -oh. whose sister thought she had covid someone Fuck. said and they thought they yeah. had it yeah and then the and then the ex ended up uh getting some symptoms that were similar to covid oh and the paranoia uh, starts yeah and then and then my my best friend was like starting to get like stuff that that seemed like covid and so i was like oh shit breath. i was in contact with him yeah for well no yeah. uh more like just stuff has to do with allergies it ended up being allergies but it was oh, more of see, like yeah. hey dude you might want to get tested i've had so many allergies in the wake of the last couple months that like uh i just know like yeah these are just my allergies but i i could see myself being a little a little more hesitant to go out, you know, with the full-blown allergies. Yeah. If I yeah. if I if I do have bad allergies, it's great though because the mask situation, I could just shove toilet paper up my nose, go out for an hour, and no one sees it because I got a mask on. Whoa. You know, I gotta run some errands. <laughs> Dude, you're. I talk like this. I'm like. Do a cardi thought of burrito, please. Genius scared over here. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like uh, it's a whole new thing. Like I quit brushing my teeth. Uh, all the mask is the mask has really like freed me up and kind of like liberated my life. Hey, 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 God! <laughs> and you release the mask. You release the mask to the point where you just release this like deadly, this deadly bacterial oh, toxin. You ever see because, that uh, you're not that anime your Doro Hidoro? I'm gonna like. Ah, I'm gonna unleash like a gaseous smoke from my fucking jaws once I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I, I've heard of that that character from Dora Hidoro. I, have, I haven't watched Dora Hidoro yet, it's but I want to watch it. It's good, man. It's on Netflix and shit. Oh man, you'd love it. Oh god, you got me. I'm sure you that like I would anime? enjoy it. Uh, I love anime. Oh, you, you like, like it? You like anime, do you? I, I, I sure do. It. Be careful. I've, I've heard. Have you? Uh, I've heard you, anime. You guys read things. any manga? Dude, the only manga I've ever sat down and read, I'm about 15 or 16 volumes through the Berserk manga. And then, because yeah. um, COVID happened, I didn't know what to do at first, so I started to, Johnny's uh, reading that. He kept telling me about how new, uh, a new issue, a new just, volume yeah. came out either this week or it's coming out at the end of the month or something. It either came out last month or it's coming out this month. I don't remember because I'm, I'm You're so far. You're getting two this year, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Idol yeah. Master or whatever's going to have to wait. Fuck yeah, dude. Forget Idol Master. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, I was I was gonna say um, uh, there's this new Shonen Jump manga. Well, it's not really new. It's been out for I think maybe like a bit. Uh oh, hold on. It's been out for a bit. What happened to our friend Brian? There you go. Say that again. It's been out for a bit. It's been, it's been out for a bit. It's been out for like about 77 weeks because it's it's 77 issues in. But there's this new manga out called Chainsaw Man from Shonen Jump, and right. I actually think that. that if you like something like Berserk, you probably like this manga a lot. It's getting a lot better. Really? Like it's it, it's getting really really good right now. I think it's probably the best Shonen Jump manga out there right now. You can't smell um, underwater. Man. So Shonen Shonen Jump is like, it's the weekly released comic. That's where so, you got your like One Piece and your Naruto and Dragon Ball. All of those came from that. Oh, look at that. It's yeah. Cute colors. Chainsaw Man. Yeah, it looks nice. Oh, he's got a cute. And this little manga mascot. is like, yeah. Oh, I've seen this, this art. This is like kind of an outlier. It's kind of an outlier because it's like super like dark, super violent stuff. It's oh, like very yeah. different from the typical Shonen Jump kind of stuff. Usually Shonen Jump like kind of has a line. It's very you know, young. Like it's really youth. Yeah, I feel like it's very youth oriented. Yeah, it's like young adult stuff. So it's yeah. usually not getting any like, it's usually not like crazy violent, but this manga is definitely like trying to cross some sort of some boundaries and it's getting, I think it's getting big enough to where it's going to get a TV anime. So I think it's going to, get um pretty big but um i won't bother you guys anymore with that no, i was gonna I'm, ask you guys I'm glad a question to hear about it man i've, I've been getting uh i've been get, like i said like uh back into uh anime with dora hidoro and i'm curious now that attack on titan's finally getting like an end that it's not so big i think i'll finish it you know i only watch first yeah. season so there's like the, stuff the I'm manga going is back about to. to end soon you know, I, I liked all this new CG stuff that, like, uh, the Dora Hidoro anime and the Ghost in the Shell 2048 or whatever it was doing. 
And uh, I've been reading some of the Dorohidoro manga, too. You mentioned the manga. But really, the only stuff I've read is, you know, Akira's Toriyama stuff, like Sandland, the old Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, MPD Psycho was a, a horror manga I really liked. Dark Horse was putting them out here. <clears throat> MPD Psycho. I'll have to MPD check Psycho. That out, it's, um, I've never heard of that. It's a horror director I really like. Takashi Miike it did oh, a yeah. series oh. in Japan. Guy always made movies, and he did this horror series, and then. Um, Whoa! I didn't know that. Yeah, I knew it was a. It was based off the manga, so I started getting the manga uh, after I I checked out the show. I recommend the manga over the show. <laughs> the manga turned out to be way better. It took a long time for that to finally wrap up, but that was a cool story too. But uh, that's cool. Thanks for calling in, man. Um. Yeah, dude. I was gonna tell you that um, I need to I need to call you soon as well because uh, I have some news for oh, you. Oh shit! This is my uh, homie so... uh, again. E EAS. I'm seeing at the end. What's up, man? <laughs> em hey guys. Yeah, Emmanuel. Uh, thank you. I never recognized the names, but now I hear your voice, and it all fucking makes sense. I'm so fucking happy. I'm so happy to talk yeah, to you again. Um... Yeah, man. I was I was gonna say I'm really sorry. I have like basically kept you in the dark for this whole time. I've just been super busy with no, everything. no worries. No with, worries. Uh, we've we've but, got um, um, we've got uh, some history, Manny and I. We've if you don't know, we've worked on a track. I've played it a couple times. Uh, 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 a cool number on the PPS here, with me doing some vocals, and uh, it's it's kind of a I can't think of the genre right now. It's escaping me. We didn't name the track, or did we? I don't think we've announced we that yet. We named it, but I've but, played. Uh, it. I've, uh, I've snuck it in, but yeah. uh, but more to come. You know, we let them with their beak. But you're saying, <laughs> you're saying, yeah, it's been a while, but more to come, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, m more to come for sure. I okay. have to. I have to. That's what I say. I'm, I'm gonna call you to, to, to. I have some really good news for you. About oh, okay, that. sounds so good. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. call you about that. Very cool. Yeah, but, this um, this project has been has been uh, branching out in ways I never imagined. You know, from Album artwork to all kinds of stuff. Has it been a year since we recorded it? It's it's been a year since the the, the day that I asked you to, to to do vocals for it. Oh, okay, damn, wow. It's been almost exactly. It's it's been a little more than a year because I remember Anime Expo last year. I I asked you to do vocals. Damn. That's cool, man. Well, hey, uh, a good project good takes a little you. bit of time. So let this thing keep incubating, and then one day we'll get to release the the full version. It, it, it will happen. Hell but, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll, let you, I'll leave you guys alone. It's great talking to you guys. Signing off. As uh, always. Thanks for calling in, man. We're going to take a quick break, too. Here's a little song from a favorite artist of ours over at the Poorly Played stream. Fingers. Oh, yeah. And uh, Min Tor uh, is it Mind Torment? Mid Torment? Uh, just released a new track. It's the... Uh, it's... It's Min Torment. Fingers yeah. and Mid Torment. New track... For Death Stranding coming out on PC, Brian. Love it. Here's the like remix. <laughs> Such a familiar sound. Oh, yeah. We'll be wow. right back. Shouts out. Oh, not my cousin again. Damn it. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Yeah. 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 
Yep. Oh. Thanks. Thank you. That's uh, Likers Get Likes from our boy Fingers and Mint Torment. That's uh, going to be available if you're watching this on YouTube. I'll always put the Fingers links in the description. Hell but yeah, You dude. can find it. You know, you spell it. You know how to spell it, Brian. Oh, I dropped like, all the links. It's Elite Link. Go to his band camp. We go gotta to get SoundCloud. His what's Google the best? Play. Band, well, how does the artist make the band best camp. amount? That's that's Bandcamp. So go yep. to their Bandcamp. They also have the the. In my opinion, they have the best options of. Um, I buy shit from Bandcamp a lot. Yeah, me too. Uh, their their app works the best. This is not a promo for them. It's just I've never legit. used the app. I just use it in browser even, and I. I've oh like, yeah. If, if there if there's music that you have and you just want to like stream it, you don't want to download it to somebody's computer, or whatever. Dude, I've like, thing. I've missed fucking so many times. I'm out of ammo. Yeah. That, don't worry, you can swim around. We'll get some. We'll get some. But yeah, they got they um, they got all the best uh, formats too, including Apple Lossless. So you can download straight Apple Lossless. You want that flack? Yeah. You want that fucking WAV? I, I like a nice WAV for the equipment here, and the homie fingers hooks it right up. Oh, DMs yeah. the WAV. <laughs> We're on fucking like uh, some buddy terms. Fuck yeah, that's that's some good shit right know there. It. But the uh, the MP3, I'm great with an MP3. Yeah, I, like, I, you know, I, my records sound like shit half the time. <laughs> They're so old, so you know, like, uh, I don't need no lossless. MP3 is just fine. Yeah, I mean, lossless is only really a thing if you are if you're going to listen to it on your hi-fi. I don't if, know, man. I I even seen know? a lot of comp I've I've seen compression comparison side by sides, and yeah. it's like, it doesn't look like much is going on here. They do a good job. Like the al the algorithm is good, but there's definitely something to be said about like. Dude, I'm using straight 1993 lame MP3 encoder on Audacity, nice. dog. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking still killing it. 96 point fucking three kilohertz. Oh my god. Per second. I don't care. I'm doing. I'm doing like. I always. I always did like whatever the max was, which was like 320 or Dude, something. Dude, I can't find any more non-lethal options. Uh, there's one in front of you. You just have to climb up and grab it. That's AK-47. I thought that said M9. I'm sorry. And we need we need Mark Twenty Two, right? Um, damn. Let's see. Anything? The, oh wait, I think this is one. Uh, M thirty seven, and that's Mark, Mark Twenty Two. Okay, Boom. Good. And they gave you a, a bunch. A bunch to keep missing. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. You move a lot slower if I remain above. Well, not when I'm standing. Is that the best you can do? Let's see. Let's see. Will he? Tommy God. How does he do it? He's gonna form the Tommy gun. There he lies. That was a yeah. headshot. Now you're done. That was you a good him. headshot. That was two headshots. Okay, Hell thank yeah, God. dude. That was a good fight. All right. Let's enjoy the popcorn face. He looks like he's got maggot mouth. Ugh. No, he put his arms back in the sockets, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I should have hit him with the anesthetic. It would have numbed him so he doesn't feel anything, right? Right. Whoa. He blew himself up there. He did. A lot of... <laughs> I like his sneer, too. Ugh. Suicidal cobras, man. Suicidal cobra. That sounds scary. That does. A suicidal cobra? Yeah. That's a good fucking... Yeah, that'd be a good jam, dude. Yeah. Suicide. 
That's enough for now. Very good. Um, while we still have the wheel up and the chat, I want to see if anyone wants to spin the wheel in the chat because they should call in and ask on behalf of, you know, our previous caller. Yeah. I'm seeing um, some cool Suicidal Cobra appreciation in there. Damn right. Manny is going to fucking uh, sample that now. <laughs> don't you don't sample that. Hey, Gundam Parker that. says spin it. <laughs> Ryan Gundam Farter, then where, what, Gundam Farter and Ryan aren't calling in. Wait, is that Ranty? No, that's Rocktopus. He ain't saying it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if we get to someone soon. All right. So far. All right. Here we go. Chuckles. Oh, Chuckles is in. Well, I, well, I wasn't gonna take a call immediately because of oh. course he's gonna say spin the wheel. But Chuckles, before you say that, I mean, how the hell are you, Chuck? Chuckles. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to wait more. Get a mic, Chuck. Okay, we're good. Don't take anyone. We'll we'll keep resting. Let's see. You get up to the left and then you jump over to get that item. Yeah. And it's a face paint, I think, or something. Oh, I think. Do I come out over here? Maybe I can. Yeah, I think you can just do a pull up at the end there. At the end here, right? Let's see. Oh, I can walk up and action button. Da 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 da. Oh, you just have to walk up like a ramp. Oh. Like a ram. He naked. I was so happy. I put up a, a promo uh, for the PPS where we threw the stun grenade and got all the bats. Oh, yeah. I, I love that. seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get so much joy out of our genuine expressions. That was a good that. bit. Well, uh, a good moment, I mean. let's run and roll. Hey. can't believe I remembered it was X. You believe we did it the fucking first time, dude? I yeah. can't. I, I do. I can't believe it. Options. Oh, being naked drains your stamina faster? No way. I guess because you're uh, in the elements. the elements. Yeah. Wow. But it was, a, it was a badass way to kill the fucking boss, right? <laughs> and we got his we got his hornet stripe now. That's what we just picked yeah. up. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Dude, DPM's where it's at. But I, I don't remember having – this is like plus 50 right now. Oh, yeah. I that's, messed with this way too much. That's the best. Yeah, I really we talked about it on the last PPS, but I forgot how much time you spend in the menus in this game even. I thought it was just Phantom Pain. Just for these two things. Yeah. Consistently trying to optimize what my best. I didn't care how I looked. It was just what's my best for the situation. The fact Zombie is almost always the best oh, was yeah. so cool too because it was an awesome. It's a cool fucking pattern. I mean, they even sold, like, the hot toy version of, of the snake figure with that. Yeah. Hey, did you check out Ghost of Tsushima? Are you going to get that? No, did, did, I have a, too did, many. I, I have unopened right now Deadly Premonition 2. Skater XL is coming to my house in, like, a week. Oh, shit. I got so many new games. I knew Ghost of Tsushima was an Assassin's Creed game set in feudal Japan, which is cool because I haven't played Kinda, an Assassin's yeah. Creed type game in a long fucking time. And I haven't played a Feudal Japan game in a long time, but I know that as a Sony first party game, that'll be cheaper by Christmas. Oh, yeah. And I won't even be able to play it before then, so I'm waiting. Yeah. I figured Trish might have got it just because it's kind of up her alley. It's made by the Sucker Punch who did the Infamous games. So if you love the Infamous games, yeah. you're going to love this game. And it's all just set in Feudal Japan. It's that, you know, very specific, like, you it, know, Kurosawa the Fox. style. The fox uh, buddy is like selling me enough. <laughs> the fact that you have a little fox friend that oh, like yeah. you can give a knife. Whoa. Oh yeah, they had these little like those hovercraft. That added. I, I hated getting spotted by these. Those things. really did suck. Okay, so now we're we're deep into like getting to the fucking facilities, infiltrating the base. It's not just dropping in and. We're off to the races. We're like, we're past the caves finally. I'm glad to see this game pick up steam. Yeah. I want to pick up some more food here. What uh, what I've seen, so we streamed it on Big Dogs um, just to, you know, the day it came out and, and had some fun with it. And what I liked about it was that it was manageable. It, it, it's what Infamous does well. The same thing that Spider-Man, uh, the PS4 game, did well, which was here's an open world in a manageable size with... Goals that give you things that 
get your character better equipment, better items, better, or I'm sorry, better stats, better something, you know, or just cool collectibles and a reason to, to play the game. Um, so yeah, it, I, I like that. And then it's, oh, there's a little like, yeah, alcove. There's a, there's just so much, uh, um, really? oh, I think you might be able to hide there when, when someone's coming over. Yeah. But like, yeah, the, the, the beauty of that You're game. You're playing Ghost of I, I just saw Frank play like the first two hours ah. of it. I'm going to check it out. Uh, right now I have too many things to play too. I got to right. finish Kiwami 2, um, which has been really, really good. Um, then I don't know what I'm going to switch to after that. I might I might play something on uh, PC. Fuck! I saw those at the last yeah. fucking minute. God damn it. Well, they're gone now. Well, that one is. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat as you. Like, I can wait a few months for Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, Shima. yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I still kind of want to play more Last of Us and, and do, like, Dude, a cleanup see, run of that. I'm juggling Last of Us, Resident Evil Resistance, and Final Fantasy VII. Still. Yeah. Uh, all of those. Oh, wait, these recharge my batteries, so I should probably grab one of these. I did want to make. I did want to make a distinction because yeah, people in the chat keep repeating that it's kind of like Assassin's Creed. It's it's only like it's Assassin's just, Creed. I don't think that's bad though. It, it, well, yes, but it's also it's not fully accurate. And, it's, and that's, it's Assassin's Creed has become a punchline because yeah. Ubisoft puts a new one out every year. Exactly. But Assassin's Creed's gameplay isn't necessarily bad. It's just I don't want the same thing every year yeah. with literally like the same type of archetype story and and with that especially and that's the difference i want to make like the assassin's creed games are meant to be big bloated pieces of of just pure <laughs> gameplay you know the, yeah there may be some sub story or whatever but it's really you know that checkbox game that a lot of people like to have where hey i come home and i got 20 different things that i know i can do today that take me you know, maybe 10 Dude, minutes each. Trisha's favorite. I mean, I've watched her sink so much into fucking... What were the last three? Yeah. Everything but Origins. She didn't dig Origins. I think because you couldn't be a gal. But uh, Odyssey yeah. and fucking everyone saying Malacca this and Malacca that and fucking Hercules and all the Greek mythology. That shit was pretty cool. Like the boats. Yeah. Um, I watched her play a lot of that London one, too. What was that one? Ne Assassin's Creed Network Underground. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Block Syndicate. Party Syndicate. Syndicate. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, hey, Doctor Ryan puts a very good point, and, and this Syndicate. is why this is why I want to make a big disti distinction between the two. Make a big distinction. Combat was not the reason you played Assassin's Creed. It was not. It was the exploration, doing all the missions, doing all the checkbox stuff. But Raton. the combat in Ghost of Tsushima is kind of like that. It looks like that fun hack and slashy. Yeah, the sword fighting is what yeah. I'm interested in. Like but not so far that it's just X, 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 and arrows. Yeah, I love bow and arrows in games. I fucking love. If it's got good bow and arrow mechanics, I love. That's why I love the Last of Us franchise. Yeah, my favorite weapon in the game is a fucking bow. And and so yeah, it's it reminds me similar bow concept uh, or mechanic. Uh, Do I go down or Shadow up? of now War? I'm fucking confused. Or Shadow of Mordor, the original Shadow of Mordor, and having the ability. Ah uh, yes, I never played that. It's all right. You you didn't miss the boat on anything. No, I mean I I I wanted to so bad, but it was one of those things that like uh just like Bloodborne, like I never got to it. Exactly, exactly. Like it, it's just games that I didn't. There are games if I had time I would have played, but there were other games that were more interesting or I had more important things to do than play those games. I think I'm not doing this right. I think I need to go deeper. But if you like Jedi Fallen Order, it's a it's a little mm. bit more on if you if you didn't like it because the combat was a little stiff, it's more on the hey, this is fun combat, but you can't just button dash. I'm down with that. Oh, fuck. No, I think we're good. Yeah, right? so for those people who got it, I think you got the game that you wanted. For those people who are on the fence about it, take a gamble. I think I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Sony's really pushing forth with their single party, Ponjovia, you know, or, like their uh, first party single player narrative stories. Oh shit! Here's here's the dodge the hovercraft. I always just swam underwater the whole time. Oh yeah, get your stamina up. Oh, I'm fucking leached. Something's got me. Something's got me by the goose. I burned. Oh, when did that happen? What? I'm, yeah, when did you get burned? I, I don't know. Let me ointment myself. How did get burned? <laughs> So, uh, I don't know. Ointment and bandage. Oh, here we get the bandage cutscene. Pour a little water on this. What a waste. His whole fucking canteen on a little burn. Yeah, man. Bro, you gotta bring that temp that surface temperature down. 
and then you gotta put the ointment. Just a little Neosporin, and I fucking lick it and call it a day. Well, dude. yeah, <laughs> now, but maybe fucking pussy. I mean, the virtuous mission back then, they didn't know what Neosporin was. When was Look at why invented? is it? It's it's not the stream that's pixelating no, this cutscene. The, the video in the game is like not <laughs> rendering. They had to stretch it. What's going on? I because I thought this used to be a full screen cutscene. You got. Not just this no. little picture and picture. I always saw I always saw a little picture and picture. I don't remember a full You know, screen. I can't trust my memories nowadays. Neither mandala can I. effect, uh, you maybe some fucking uh, implanted uh, microchip vaccine has already got a hold of me. I don't know. My brain might be turned to mush just basically from drinking tap water. I, yeah. I, I who knows these things? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this fucking frog. Oh, oh yeah. this sounds like uh, Yoshi from the um, 64X. This is the this is a Yoshi noise from the 64X cosplay masquerade. Oh, uh, that can <laughs> I asked before we went live. I was like, "What's the sound that Yoshi makes?" And they were like, "Padong, yeah, like uh, you know, yeah, all the noises." And I was like, "Okay, thank you," because I want to not do any of them. <laughs> I asked so that I could specifically not do them. I didn't want to accidentally do the right noise. Um, that was a lot you of know fun. What? You oh, are shit. you are oh, shit. absolutely the person oh, to shit. mean to mess oh, up shit. and then do it right. If you swim under it, they can't see it. Oh, you gotta. Oh Who's that? wait, wait, wait. You have to wear. You have to wear black. Oh, oh no. Da, da, da. Wow, I'm like a fucking mudfish here. Look at how fast I go. Mud skipper? Is that a thing? But hello, crabs. I'm just gonna bypass this fucking place. Fuck okay. it. Oh, wait, no, he's right there. Ow! Okay, let's pull out the AK, you know. Yeah. We don't always have the luxury of not killing, but today... Make an exception. Oh, swim through Dude. with the croc cap. Dude, that's what I was doing before. Yeah, they can't see you. Well, I think they know where I'm at. Yeah, you can just swim through the stage anyhow. What's this, detour? Ooh, I like the way you think. It's actually literally just another way to go through. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, so that's what was so cool about this something. game is that they give you different ang angles to get into certain rooms. Oh shit, oh shit, here they oh, come. Shit. It's not gonna work. Strange. Okay, what if I put on, yeah, I need like the better camo. I need the water camo, exactly. Uh, do we have a Discord call Oh yeah. in the ready? I think that, um... Yeah, let's try to... I can do two birds with one stone here. Let's try to talk to Rocktopus. Hey, how's it going, guys? Rocktopus, what's up? Not much, just chilling, watching the stream. I was thinking of you earlier. I saw your, uh, your name there in the chat, and I was like, I want to talk to my Rocktopus friend. Hey. Aw. I Thank you. I, I, it was an interesting. It looked like a new name to me. Is that right, Brian? <laughs> it is talking? a new name. It is. We're a new caller today on the show, guys. Thank you. <laughs> wow. I love I like to see callers. it. You love to see it. Gotta see it. I'm all healed up now, Rocktopus. Uh, what can we do for you? What have you been up to today? Uh, not much. I just uh, went to work, came back home, oh, yeah. rest a little bit. Uh, Dude, I had one of those. The I had one of those work days where it just. Everything went according to plan. I didn't have a lot of distractions, not a lot of interruptions. You know, it was a good it was a good work day. I don't know about you. you that sounds great. Uh, yeah, it was it was pretty much uh, business as usual. You didn't have to deal with like you know some asshole manager getting in your face or you know. No, not at all. Asking for TPS reports filed on time, none of that kind of nonsense. No, none of that, no. You know, I found out a TPS report is like a real thing. I didn't yeah. know that. What does it stand for? I don't know. But in Lost, Locke's boss asks him for a TPS report. And I was like, oh, that's funny. That's like a office space reference. Absolutely was. <laughs> I mean, it, it definitely is, but it is a real thing. that you, In accounting, you need a TPS report. I think it's a transactions per second when I Googled it. For some kind of... They were a box Our company. transaction processing system. Yeah, I mean, he was a... John Locke worked for a box company. He was a regional supervisor for a corrugated box company. They make boxes. They made boxes. <laughs> that was it. But yeah. It's, uh, good to hear from a new caller, Rocktopus. So you're you're entertaining your day through uh, after your, your work day's over. Now you're just kicking back, 
Maybe just crack kicking it, back. Cracking a cold one, enjoying the Cracking a cold one. Good to hear it. Actually, I actually made a mojito earlier. Oh, you gotta do. Is there mint in your mojito? It better be. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> You're doing it the right It's actually way. Uh, specifically called mojito mint that I grew in my backyard. Oh. You, this is a homegrown situation? Dude, mint grows easily. Say it ain't it's, so. It's a fucking weed. Like, yeah. it's, it's pretty great, though, if you want a lot of it. Mint is on. We we haven't bought mint or uh, oregano at my parents' house the entire time we've lived in this country. <laughs> really? You guys grow that all the time? Yeah, my dad grows that all the time in a planter in the backyard. When we didn't have a house, he grew it in like little pots and like made like made it. It's like yeah, he he always had like little things growing growing in a, in and around our house. Now he has like grapevines on the side too dealing with rats trying to come and eat his grapes. Some <laughs> shit. Fucking rats. I'm like, well, Dad, if you build it, they will come. You have you have fucking grapes. They're going to want to eat your grapes. You know, I had to put up, like, chicken wire against uh, all of our peppers because the bunny rabbits would get up and eat all the peppers. Damn bunny what the rabbits. What the bunnies man. want peppers for? Bunny, bunny rabbits, bunny rabbits are the... They're the bane of my existence. Fucking rabbits. Dude, my cat keeps bringing them in, you know, like, uh, I find them half rotting in some back fucking corner under a, like, duvet. I'm like, what are you, where you hide the fucking rabbit in here? <laughs> Big old fucking That horse hasn't happened in a couple years, but there, the room. dude, it was like a scene from The Exorcist. We came, or not The Exorcist, uh, uh, Amityville Horror. Yeah. Well, we came in from, like, getting dinner, the fucking house. It's like... Some kind of stinks, and then we went into the kitchen, and there's like, fucking no, it was in the bedroom. There's flies all in the window, oh, giant flies. Oh, no. I'm like, there's a body in here somewhere yeah. in this back bedroom. <laughs> and we're moving everything. We finally like moved a bookshelf, and it's like there he is. This fucking cat brought it in half dead, and then it jumped behind the bookshelf and finished its death. I remember we tried to vacuum hey. all of them. Oh my god. Yeah, vacuum and the horse flies up with a tube. That was so right. fucking ridiculous. Like, but they keep coming back! Dead corpses rotting is like a smell that just. You you know when you've got another one. Like it a, lingers. It lingers. You got a mouse in the wall the or something like that. It, oh, it's so bad. It, and the worst thing is when I say it lingers, it doesn't linger in the room. Once you remove the body, it no longer smells that way. But you will never forget that smell. Yeah, you just Ever. know. You'll know next time. Like, Ever. Is there a dead squirrel in here? Like the answer is yes. It's like, yeah, if you smell that smell, you know. And, and, and that's, I know that because I used to, we were, I was just talking about this uh, earlier today with somebody. I used to work at a liquor store that had a horrible rodent pro problem. Oops. And I was carrying out at least a, 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 a carcass a night. Carcass? Of, of, of Ooh, dead God, rats. That <laughs> you um, see that? Yeah, I did. That was great. And so... That's how it was. I'd be working, and all of a sudden, I want to shoot that light out. Oh, uh, I know that smell. Oh, uh -oh. there it is. And then you just find the dead rat, and you have to like grab it, and take it out. And then you got to go disinfect the area you found it, and it just stinks. And then you find 20 more because there's a rat family living in this rundown fucking market, which burned down. So good. Now, they uh, do karate. Though. I earned a trophy. Whoa, what is that? I don't know. Tall tale. Oh, shit. Look at this guy. Hold on. I'm going to trank him real quick. Hell yeah. Done. Oh, yeah. yeah, so, Rocktopus. Rocktopus, uh, you you're stunting. You're hanging out. You're hanging. You called for a reason. What was that reason? Look at him. Look I just him. wanted to thank you guys for the Meg 64 Expo. thought it was hey, pretty oh. great. So what? You liked it, huh? Yeah, hell yeah, dude. All right, I'm glad. That's good to hear, man. We had a lot of fun doing it, so... I bought one of those uh, What's Inside shirts. I thought that design was dude, really cool. Dude, shouts out Andrew oh, Douglas. Dude, killing Andrew it with the Douglas. What's Inside. What the fuck? Our dear friend Andrew over there in, uh, is he still out there in Texas? Uh, dude, buddy, I don't Eric? know where he is right now. I see him posting no. stuff at night. He's crawling around in rivers I, and yeah. under the full moon, climbing on tractors. It looks like <laughs> a haunted trail if I ever saw one. I don't know what, what that boy's what? doing, but uh, did rivers, you guys announce a and under the full moon, uh, climbing on tractors? To... It looks like a haunted trail. <laughs> uh, why am I doubling up? I, I think he's turned oh, on the site. Of, yeah, I went to the site. And the new site. Guys, if you, I didn't know if this is something to even bring up. The new site will have video on it, yeah. It's, uh, there's a new Mega64.com that's up right now that I, I don't know if that's a plan. Maybe I shouldn't say anything. No, 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 no. We, we, we've talked Did about it. Did you guys launch it on Sunday? We on launched Saturday? it. Well, after 64X. We've oh. Done. Let's not, let's not put a brand new store in place the day of. Yeah. 
Which we did that. Do you remember the one Black Friday? Yes. We did a new store. Thank God it worked. Can you imagine how dumb that would be to do now? I mean, it was dumb back then. You yeah, guys just didn't have happen, happen. Dude, this fish is asleep. <laughs> yeah, man. He's, he's, he had din din. Now he's getting his this. Is it arowana? Well, hey, Rocktopus, I'm glad that you had a good time. I, I hope that there are more fun things coming up the uh, in the future yeah. that uh, you'll enjoy like that. Especially since, you know, a lot of a lot of the idea after doing that East Coast tour was to maybe take Last Laugh and tour again somewhere else. But obviously, right yeah. now, I can't do any of that. So, you know, anybody who came out to join the 64X really got to see something that we excel at. Uh, Mega 64 is best when we are live and in person. I mean, panels and everything alike. It just I think too really people cool. people appreciated the level of improvisation. You know, we we roughly outlined stuff, and then from there, like all those panels were just the boys at their best. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah, that was great. I'm glad you liked it, man. That's good to hear. I just had a I just had one question yeah. uh, for you guys. A um, question from our boy. I'm yes. <laughs> I know that you guys are more Sony fanboys, but are you guys uh, are. planning on covering the uh, whatever the Xbox tomorrow. event is tomorrow? Yeah. Hey, man, I'm going to spread my cheeks and get ready for <laughs> the Xbox big dog style. You know, Goatsy's back and I'm Goatsy's back. I'm uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to be here, but I know there is a stream planned for tomorrow. I think you can see Sean and Rocco both uh, live streaming on this Twitch account tomorrow morning for the Xbox keynote. I'm excited because okay. I think we're finally getting a console price. I think that they have to yeah. finally be the ones before ah, Sony. I don't know. They're, they got to. It's Christmas. It's holiday season. Their press conference it's... is now. I think we're getting an actual price tag from Xbox first, and then we'll see it from Sony. I agree that I, I think Xbox has to announce the price first. However, I think I think they're going to wait till August. I think they're going to put this really. shit off until like the very last minute cuz they they like holding all the all the cards right now, all the chips, whatever the fuck the well, phrase. Are they or is Sony holding them all? I don't know who's That's got the that's chips. the question. Fuck. And then as soon as they reveal the price, it's just like cards on the table. Yeah. But someone's got to go first. For and, sure. And, and I don't know. I don't know. Sony doesn't have anything planned. I just think we're so close already. We gotta get a price soon. Uh, I hope so. I mean, I, like, I hope, so. I, are, I hope looking, it happens, but I don't think it will. Are you looking to get the Series X? I, I have an Xbox One X right now, so maybe not unless yeah. it really does something super but cool. I have like all the all the systems, but sure. You know, this is the first generation I've skipped out on the Xbox. I know, Brian, you and Frank, like, you use it a lot. Uh, uh, Game Pass I, seems to be, like, your, your custom. Game Pass is, like, the saving grace of Xbox. Yeah. I, I would say there's no other reason See, it's to just for have someone, it. For someone like me who doesn't have time to play the few games that yeah. I am already buying, yeah. there's the, I, Game Pass would be wasted on me. So I oh, I feel that. I can't justify getting another console. And it, it's weird that sure. I skipped out on this, you know. This it's, generation well, there, of Xbox. It's true. There weren't any exclusive. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, no. I skipped out on this entire generation. I only got an Xbox One because Frank got an Xbox One X so that we could stream on Big Dogs. Now I've unplugged that completely because I got a gaming PC with Game Pass on it. So I'm set. You're I don't good. need an Xbox at all. And I, w I was only going to get an Xbox Series X or whatever it's called. Um, the, whatever the new Xbox is going to be called. Uh, was that the... That was a headshot. Nice, Frank. dude. Good shot. Um, if, you know, depending on the price and, and if it was worth it. But honestly, it's not worth it for me to just Fuck. have that. To just have a console Xbox, it is not worth it for me. I am totally yeah. fine with Sony. Now that I have a PC, my mind then goes to performance over, yeah. over everything. And I'm like, well, now that I have a PC, I can... Oh, I was going to buy, like, Doom Eternal on PS4, guaranteed. Well, now I can run it on a PC at 60 frames with, like, better graphics, ray tracing, cyber, Cyberpunk. I'm hearing it may still be better on console right now, optimized. Cyberpunk, man. But, dude, Ooh. that you got to believe that that's going to look better on PC. Death Stranding? Oh, yeah. I've already put 11 hours into the game by accident. That's crazy. <laughs> Why That's I mean, awesome. and what I mean by accident is, I'm like, I'm just gonna dick around and play for a bit, and then I start taking missions. And then, so there's your Microsoft Store stuff right yeah. there. Yeah, like you just buy it on your PC, 
in Buy whatever it on Steam. Steam. Buy it on Epic Games Store. Epic Store, whatever. I have uh, and that's I have the ability to play Master that's... Chief Collection right now, like with all the upres graphics. Like I've been playing Halo Three at night. Yeah. Again. And it wow. all works because my Game Pass. So. So you've. That's uh, what I was gonna have, mention too. Like the, Xbox the uh... Game Pass gives you games on PC. Yeah, so it works yeah. on, on PC and on your Xbox. Interesting. That's cool. Yep. What were you gonna say there? Um, the, uh, you'll also, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to play the new Halo on your Xbox I and I think PC as well. So every, every Microsoft Studios game is released for free on Game Pass. And it's cool if you have the older consoles, those new games work too. Yeah. They just yeah. aren't going to be as optimized, you know? Yeah. And the only Series X or something. It'll, and that's the only work. thing. That's the only thing. Like, you don't get those, like, Panzer Dragoon and, like, Ninja Gaiden Black got HD up, up, upscale on the Xbox. I remember um, that. And they look incredible. So maybe I don't get those, but I have the ability to mod with a PC. Is so this it just matter. a dead end? Uh, I think this is where you get um, a sniper rifle, and then you leave and you go back out the other way. Yeah, it's a dead end. I didn't find a sniper rifle yet, though. See how, yeah, you yeah, went to the left. Up. I so you got to go, lie. yeah. Uh, maybe in the room you were just in. Somebody said there was a sniper rifle in here. It might be underneath uh, a boat or under something. There's, yeah. there's a bunch of places they hit Let's stuff. Let's check. I've killed everyone in the, but hey, the zone. But hey, Rocktopus. Yeah, uh, thanks for calling in, Rocktopus. Thanks for your call. That was, a, that was a good call, man. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right. Have a good night. Peace. Peace out. That's a good call. Under a sniper rifle. Were you giving me a subtle hint? Uh, I actually don't know. Somebody just said that there's a sniper rifle here because yeah, they were asking what we're going to do for the end. And I think we're, we're going to OG play the end, right? Oh, uh, uh, surface, surface. I'm, I'm coming up. I don't know if I'll do that. Uh, I don't know how I'll do it. I might try to snipe them. I'll miss, but I might try to snipe them in the wheelchair so I get the ocelot units. I mean, it just depends. I think uh, in the past I've always tried to snipe them, yeah. but I usually miss. And then I've only done it once. Oh, you picked it up. You already got it. I already did. Yeah, Okay. so you can... Someone said that probably in the yeah. chat. Hey, Thank Sup you, Dude chat. has been here dude, Sup dudes all like over paying it. more attention than I am. Yeah, the SVD's right there. Yeah. Let's uh, equip it. Oh, I wanted to equip. I took the bug juice out during the pain fight because I wanted to try it out and yeah. and see what it does, but then I forgot to take it. Oh. Bug repellent keeps hornets and leeches off. So when you're swimming, you should take the bug juice. I'll take a little shot right now, but I, I should have taken it during the goddamn boss oh, fight. Yeah. Oh, well. I hope that fish wakes up and is okay, but we'll get back to it Probably later. not. Let's go croc cap for a little I speed. feel like you swim faster, yeah, with the croc cap on. <laughs> Maybe. I like you're still wearing the Hornet outfit. <laughs> no, I got the squares oh, is it? on. Oh, okay. It is the squares. So, I love, I, again, the fact that you could customize your outfits and they kept within cutscenes, minus the crocodile cap. Like, you know, whatever BDU you're wearing shows in the cutscene. Whatever face mask you have on shows in the cutscene. And that was one of the first games to have that carryover. You know, like, we take that for granted now where your character just wears whatever they wear. Yeah. But remember when you would be like, oh, dude, Spider-Man game, and you'd have this cool costume in the cutscene, it's the classic costume. And then it goes back, yeah. Or it would be like, it would be the custom costume, but it didn't have the uh, no face ability because they didn't have the space. You know, like, maskless ability. We're hauling ass now. Ooh, look out, a dace. Hope I save some space. I've been fishing in Animal Crossing too long. Oh. <sighs> the dace in this game doesn't take up any pocket space. You just, you have a limited number of food you can carry. <laughs> so I guess that uh, is kind of similar. Ah. Cutscene enabled. So here's where we could snipe it. Yeah, so he gets rolled out Let's here. try to do it, dude. Let's right after I think this codec call. It's right, yeah. It's. I think maybe you have to end the codec call yeah. early. I think, yeah. Sokolov, the got him, dude. The Gru's got him. What is Ava's name when she's under Volgan's command? Where, where she's the second or double agent or whatever? That's your forget. Hands off me. Triple agent? I'm not uh, is it mm, Tatiana? It's Tatiana. <laughs> it's Tatiana. Really now? What's isn't there a hip hop song like that? Take? Tatiana go crazy or some shit? Dude, all I know, the only one I think of is uh. Down on your butt, Tatiana. Down. Tanya. Oh, ta no, Tatiana. No, he just said Tanya. Oh, 
Oh, maybe that's what he calls her. Lover will suffer the consequences. Yeah. She's sleeping with everyone, dude. That's how you, for your country, bro. You dude. know what I'm saying? That's patriotic yeah. as fuck. Patriotic, man. Red, white, and blue. Salute the flag. Damn you. Slinging that. Slinging it. Volgan. I love his, the voice actor for Volgan is badass. Yeah. Gary Davis? And how cool is that character getting to, like, be showcased? Ew! You don't That's do not... that. Okay. Never, you... Dude, what a fucking colonel. Hey, you know what? That's very reticent of the costume that Quiet has with the ripped stockings. I always thought that was the first time it showed up, but I forgot about this cutscene. Yeah, no, so when I saw Quiet do that, I was like, oh, that's a nice little callback. <laughs> totally. I'd never picked up on that before. Hold it right there. I love that they Here's always the other introduce him with a step in like that. <laughs> Did you see last night I got Randy and I retweeted a fucking gif? There's that gif going around right now of the dude twirling a hot dog in his fingers. Oh, okay. Super good. It's like, but someone quote tweeted it and wrote, uh, Revolver Ocelot when he finally gets hold of Big Boss's cock. <laughs> And I thought I was laughing for a fucking hour last night when I just saw that. I was like, that's, that's too good. Too good not to retweet at a 11.30 at night. That's one of those randy, racy ones. It's going to keep me from getting a blue check, but I ain't care. Fuck no. They didn't give me a blue check. I refuse. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder why I didn't get one. I don't want the blue check, but I do want more followers on Instagram so I can tweet links. Or uh, swipe, yeah, up. swipe, swipe up, up for links. links would just make doing show promo so much fucking easier. This is such a ridiculous oh, Russian no. roulette. Oh, no. Oh, you went peeing his pants. Dude, huh. just like Otacon. Oh, like luck hasn't run out yet. So every role has a part to play. Everyone. Boom. Oh. She knew. There's no such thing as luck. It's funny, Adam Aska was. Sorry, mom. The 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 fear that caused someone <laughs> to piss their pants like the ninja. Oh, you're right. It's yeah. like take off. Because who did we say was the ninja character of, of this game? It, kind of Ava. But it's almost like Adam and Ava. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, because right there, it was Adam who made her made him piss his pants. Right. The covers yeah. will take care of him. She knows. She knows. <gasps> How could you? Disrespect. See, I, I think this game, this is, uh, yeah, as always, uh, Ocelot is the twin snake. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the, the, he's the doppelganger in here. The pain. Yeah, so she knows that's her son right there, right? What? Yeah. He doesn't. And she can't tell him. No. And that's the burden she must bear. And how weird of it that he became like a fucking triple agent and just happened to become be entangled with her unit. Well, I think it's, one of yours. You, I think, you know. The philosophers are, are, are pulling the strings to get him there. Maybe, may I, maybe. The pre-philosophers, what were they? No, that's what they were. Yeah. They were the philosophers. And, and then, then they were the... Patriots. I fear Khrushchev la la may have a hand in this. <laughs> have no time to lose. You must eliminate him the mole the final under test. the eyes of the great touch. When you saw her remade in Fox Engine for that pachinko oh, machine, man. oh my god, I have that as a watch face on my iPhone oh. or on my on my Apple Watch because uh, that you can animate them. Yeah, and it's a that photo. It it's just for a brief second. Oh yeah, it's her looking. It's like her right at you. her turning to the camera and looking at it. Oh shit! There we get the fear. You saw him in that chopper on the bridge before, right? Uh, just like Vamp. You saw him briefly. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> he says his name. And they that's all the do. thing. They all say their name. It's great. The old man is yeah. Old. yeah. Is he all right? Be like if I entered a room and went. The end is saving what life Disc jockey. Yep. Normally, he's Fucking dead. crazy. You'd have to be but crazy. When the time is right. All right. Old man liver spots about to get lit up with my SVD. SDV? Does, Which one is it? it will be the Got that ending. dyslexia, bro. SVD, I think. <laughs> Fuck. I got that. Homeboy looks like he's got a little bit of the uh, 
coronavirus on his cheek there. Volgan's got what? How did he get that lightning? Was he struck by lightning? Is that how he got those scars? Uh, or was his father a drinker? <laughs> oh, could no, be. I don't know how. <laughs> they explain it at some point. Yeah, later on they do explain it, but I don't. I do not recall it. Kuwabara. Oh, here's his little chant. Now, the boss has uh, really utilized her poncho. Unlike any other character, the tactical poncho that, on the boss really... Oh, look, there he is, right behind her. <sighs> Got to right? see him. He was all he was all done up in black uh, spec ops gear. Because he did. He was all, like uh, all flat black. Non-reflective surfaces. Opaque, even, because he's a ghost. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, he's dead. <laughs> Fool's dead. Okay, we're going to get the SVD out. We got one shot. How do we zoom? Adjust scope with the triangle, triangle button. button. Okay. Okay, here we go. Do I need to get in a different position, though? No. Here's, oops. I think you can just shoot him right from where he's at. Nope. Triangle, triangle, yes. triangle. I can't see... Why am I not? There we are. Ah, fucked up. Damn it. Now I can't get out of this view. So, to get that view, how did I, how do I even view? Oh, it's, it's L1. Where is he? It's different than, when you're holding a pistol, I swear the fucking aim was R1. Wow, they switched it on me. Okay. That's why I got all fucked up. Well, it's too late. It passed. You That's know what right. I mean? It passed, but we have an objective, right? Oops. Uh, I think you're just supposed to infiltrate where you're at. Let's put back on our blue camo. Raindrops? No, water. We want the water. Give us the water. You think it was uh, infiltrating back where we were? Oh, yeah, because there's yeah. an opening there. Let me look at the map real quick. Yes, there's undiscovered buildings behind us. We can finally get to some land. Oops, fuck. That was not good. <laughs> waste, waste, waste. The fucking alert. The stupid ass suppressors, man. They're not gonna last through my bullshit today. What was that, M9? Well, they know we're here. Let's just give them the AK. Toggle the, we got full ammo, so let's toggle that on real quick. Light him up. I wish I could get a reticule. There we go. Sorry, Sorrow. We're going to have to deal with some shit. I blew that up. There we go. Walk up. Let the rifle walk right up the body. Uh, if I could get a light touch. Okay. Hold the button down a little bit. You don't go into shooting. It's so crazy how they're tactile like that. Oh yeah. I forgot about PS2. Damn, dog, that was sick. PS, uh, PS2 had that. Where you hold the button down a little uh -huh. and it's different than holding it down a lot. I remember See, being- So many modern games don't even do that. Oh yeah, and, and so many of them do it because of this. Remember in Metal Gear 2 being able to peek around corners by yeah. pressing the- uh, That's why they made Shoulder the- buttons. You can still yeah. do that. Yeah. In here. If I come up and I go into first person mode, I can like peek left, peek right. I said left and right for <laughs> opposite. <laughs> oh, I got saw off once again. Let's escape under under the dock. Oh, can't breathe under here, probably. No, I can't. Oh, wait. I'm not hitting at all. No. Let's take a final call. You know, we're coming up to the end of the show. Sure. We've Let's... defeated the pain, but I want to hear, as I take some food in, I want to hear from another of our lovely viewers and listeners out there. Hell yeah. We'll talk to Ranty. Hello. Hello. Up, Ranty? Hey, Ranty. How's it going? It's going, good. it's going well. I mean, um, it depends. I, I could... I could... Um, I could totally lose it here, you know? I mean, I'm putting it all on the line with the damn guards seeing me. Yeah, that's how those games go. I'm not playing my best, and I'm trying to take a call on top of it. I mean, what? Sounds like PBS. Well, sounds like it. 
Let's get out of the I mean, you're water. doing a great job. Well, thank you. <laughs> but something's happening. I don't know about what, but we'll find out. I'm going in. Guns ablaze. So, yeah. I'm calling. Yeah, I why wanted I? to um, comment. I was so happy to hear that you had enjoyed Doro Hetero. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, um... that I... I just finished reading it over quarantine. Okay, and, cool. Um, I found yeah, some I copies love that of the amazing. manga because the anime goes, you know, so far. And then I thought, well, let me read what the rest of the story has to offer in the manga. So I checked yeah, that definitely. out, and I was I was like uh, really happy with that artwork and where the story's been going. I'm not too far in, but I'm a little farther than it's the so... anime. Yeah, the manga, like the manga, is so different. Just in a more graphic sense yeah but i really think the anime is doing a good job at like streamlining some of the stuff sure because um, it can get kind of i think it was a really long running serial so it got kind of like muddy some places but the anime is doing great and i just wanted to also co-sign that one recommendation for chainsaw man oh chainsaw man you can get behind it yeah i haven't caught up to it recently i know it's getting a <laughs> physical release in october i died Oh no! I know hey, you, you might. You, you might get another chance at uh, getting that. I might. But yeah, sorry. Back, back to you, Randy. You said I was doing oh. such a good job, but I don't know. I, I was really entering hey. a time paradox here. I mean, that's how those things go. It's part it's of the how, fun. It's how it goes. I got so distracted by the anime talk, but now I can give you full attention. So I'm happy that uh, that you called in with <laughs> with oh, the yeah. anime discussion. So yeah, Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man, Man is great. Okay. All um, right. I know it's getting a physical release, I think, in October. I think right now the only way to read it is the Shonen Jump app. Okay. I, don't, I might be wrong on that, but... Is that getting um, developed into a, a TV show or anything? It might be. I haven't heard anything on that front. I know the previous caller mentioned that. Um, I mean, big, I would be bigger super stuff. happy about that. Yeah, right? Big, the bigger titles, and I've heard a lot about this, uh, they seem to go eventually yeah I'm, I'm surprised it's stuck in shonen jump i know things can get axed pretty quickly but i think that artist also had a pretty popular one i can't remember the name of it a pretty popular series before it okay Dude, yeah i would hope uh um, I'd, I'd i'd like to see some more you know manga's not as much my jam as anime is it's it's a lot easier to sit down and watch something than it is for me to sit down like you said dory dory gets a little long and honestly, I think I, I got scared at when I looked at how many chapters there were. I am so fucking Yeah, happy. that was me. You were happy was, or you um, were scared? It, yeah, I was I was scared. I uh, That was what got me sort of back into physically collecting manga. Ah. And when I saw how many volumes there were, I was like, oh, it just kept on, kept on going. But um, Yeah, I mean, I, I fell into that trap now. before. God. Yeah. It, 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 it amazes me the commitment that people have to, like, uh, One Piece. Or like, Dude. Uh, see, some of I've those been crazy One Piece yeah. since middle school. Yeah. So I wouldn't begrudge anyone being intimidated by that. It, like, it's so hard to just get into it. So much, dude. Yes. So hard. Let's see how many volumes. Move them? I don't think. I... By the way, shouts out, guys. Uh, it started its original run. There he is. Today, on, I think. Yeah, on July twenty second, nineteen ninety seven. Twenty. Yeah. What is it? Twenty three years, years old now. Yeah. Wow. So. Shots out. I mean, you can't say shit on on the fact that they've been. Did doing... they get the Did they get to the grand line yet? No. So what happened What's is they on? hit the grand line, but then they realized <laughs> that they that they needed to I go know. back to the beginning. They had to restart. I, I heard yeah, about that. That's all I heard, dude. That's all I heard is that they got there and then they went, "We fucked up, and we have to go back." And then they went back to the beginning. <laughs> Jack, we have to go back. Yeah, dude, there's some season three ending bullshit. But no, honestly, I, I've heard One Piece is really uh, a, a really cool. Um, it's. It's definitely worth the investment if you have the time. And that's one of the things where I recommend the manga because it's easier to parcel that out than an anime that's very clearly structured more. Like, it's, you know, for kids. It's a Shonen Jump thing. Um, you can yeah. argue about that back and I, forth. But liked, the manga is much more digestible. I liked the manga versions of, like, I, I only had experiences with One Piece and Naruto. But those two in the jumps were a lot more... Uh, adult than I would say the animes were. The animes were like yeah. kind of goofy, like especially uh, One Piece. I could never get into. 
I thought like, it was just with, so goofy, with, so childish. But the manga with the when sound I used design, them, it, yeah, yeah. Like the sound design gets kind of like you learn to love it if you watch it long enough. Sure, but I definitely get that feeling, and it's like really. There's a lot of flashbacks, a lot of like filler to pad it out. Obviously for like Saturday morning, yeah, equivalent stuff. Sure, um, oh, wow. but it's it's definitely worth the investment. Wow. Yeah, manga always seems to be just a little more. I mean, it's it's a print, so you can you can do more in it than you could when you're broadcasting. You know what I mean? It just seems yeah, like you can something... be a little more adult. Yeah, and that's something that I recommend about. Mature. Yeah, that's something that I was really glad that um, Chainsaw Man's doing particularly. Oh hell yeah! Um, so definitely recommend that. So very then, topical. Uh, yeah. This came out. You got the ranty. You're you got the good recommendations today. What's crazy? I'd also like to make <laughs> one more recommendation. Oh, what? Did you, yeah, ahead, hit us yeah. with it. So it's not a manga. It's a comic by this independent artist um, who has her own business. Her her username I think is Million Fish. Million Fish, okay. Sounds good. Um, she did a conceptually abstract Metal Gear Solid tribute comic called Yellow Yellow Cake. Oh, oh okay. I like that. Yeah. Yellow and she cake. has another one. She has a couple of shorter comics. Um, huh. One that I recommend because it's like four pages. is called Orca. That's about the boss. Um, so okay. if you like really cool, graphically distinct. I like uh, um, she's she's using the animal themes that Kojima puts in all the games, you know, like all the animal names uh, of all your. You oh, know. yeah. And you'll see like if you read if you read this comic, we're it's, looking at you it. know, structured into chapters. But yeah, we're checking it out right now. Like it's got the aesthetic and it's uh, yeah, it's, it's very fucking cool. So looking. good. Whoa. Um, yeah. Yeah. I highly recommend it. There's some uh, cool shit here. Hell yeah. Well, thanks for calling in. This is awesome. This is dope. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Definitely. Yeah. Good talking to you. Good talking Peace. to you, too. I'm going with the splitter, Dude, Brian. that was dope. That's a good recommendation. So I missed out on uh, the end. I think he was there, but again, I took too long. Oh, that's okay, honestly. But if, I, if I'm a little more careful about how I walk, I think I won't fall in the water. And more <laughs> importantly, can I pick this dude up, shake him out? Well, again, like... Here's, me. You, here's the traditional Metal Gear open. Yeah, here's you. You infiltrate the front of a base. You infiltrate through the water. You come up, mm -hmm. and then... I didn't even realize that. Yeah, these docks represent the opening of the first game, essentially. Yep. Of Solid. There's a guy out there. He's probably got nothing good for me, either. I'll just let him sleep it off. And we're into the... Bon Jovi ja Warehouse. Bon Jovi Warehouse. Bon Jovi Warehouse. Wow. Warehouse, Brian. Warehouse. Oh, Whoa. dude. That means we're pretty close to the fight with the Fury. Dude, it's uh, it's coming up. I'm leaving on accident now. Let me back that up. Of course. Hey, you got to auto save. Oh, hey, you got to manually save. Don't forget to manually save. Of course not. We've only been saving once at the end of every episode. <laughs> So we're really pushing our luck here with uh, with the characters. So let's do that now as we say goodnight. Brian, I got a gift on the 64X weekend from my buddy John DeMental. Okay. Shouts out up in San Bernardino. He's holding it down. Shouts out. Uh, Dr. Strange Love Records. Check him out. But this is his band, End Result, from the new Noise Attack Phonophobia cassette. What is it? It's not a sampler. It's a compilation. That's the word. Dude. Shouts out. We'll see you next week. Get Twilight off of it.